Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we built a security room, made some changes in the cell blocks in the yard and a couple of other places around the facility that we didn't need to get done but we would certainly benefit from, which is why we've done it sooner rather than later. We also placed some flooring as well to start making it look a lot better but mainly our focus and attention was on trying to fix the critical issue with the staff morale. It's currently on 56% so it's midway and it's certainly lower than I would like but it's a lot better than it was and the root cause of all of that was the critical lack of food as you can see there is over or just on 40 uh, of our staff who have a critical need for food because quite frankly that is um well, a life-giving stat, so we should probably try and fulfil that need. The problem is that this tray here with the banana and apple on it is the only source of food for the staff in the entire facility, and we messed around with the logistics, we changed things up and moved them around, and nothing we could really do would fix that problem. And also, another slight issue, which we may see in but a moment, you see they're rushing towards this food, is as soon as they pick up this tray, the banana and the... <laughs> apple immediately transforms to an orange which is strange in itself but as soon as they start to eat said food they're actually munching on a staff door which is not normally classed as healthy and nutritious i mean if it was a jail door at least it would contain more iron but at the moment no i think that's got the same nutritional value as cardboard either way there is the odd bug i would say but there has been a couple of hot fixes since that last episode and thankfully you can see we now have loads of food coming in so a combination of hot fixes reloading trying many suggestions that people drop in the comments so thank you for that it's all sorted for the time being i'm sure it will break at some point but either way let's just uh, thank <laughs> whoever that this is now actually functioning so we can crack on with this episode and we're going to be focusing our attention on this area here and this building up the top as well as placing some flooring now this area up here we sort of earmarked for some kind of building and we haven't decided what it was going to be obviously many many suggestions for making this a protective custody area and that's probably what we're going to do but also i think we also need another area another office for the psychologist so we can start running some of this behavioral therapy if we go down to actually i'm just checking that thing there uh, let me go to need you can see there's a massive clothing need um that is actually also i believe been hot fixed so yeah hopefully that'll be sorted anyway back to what i was saying we have our programs here and we can see we've got spiritual guidance on the go there and parole hearing however there also is a fairly big need for behavioral therapy so what i want to do is build an area where we can have some offices for the psychologist and run that as well as a protective custody now i wasn't going to have a protective custody for no other reason than i decided not to at the start of the at the start of the series and to make it a bit different and the idea was to expand to another island that's what we were going to do however i'm not too sure whether we're going to do the expansion because of the problems that we've experienced but that's a futurist problem however to make it safer if we built a protective custody at least this is then all encompassing rather than having to transfer to a different island if that makes sense anyway let's go over before we do this let's actually go over to this corner here now obviously it's just a fairly open area there's not much around here however we do want to change that and this is what a couple of people suggested i agree entirely that we should really have a helipad and we've already got one in stock so there's no problem placing that there and the reason we want to place that is because we need to be able to to call in our emergency stuff but you need helipads which is why i'm placing this here obviously on the outside of the facility so that we'll have to go through this door this door and then all the way around so it's quite a long ish area to go around but it's also one of the only areas where we can place it now i am still going to change something so i'm going to go over to our flooring and then to landscape and i'm going to place some do i want to place sand on wood i'm going to place some sand around here like so at least so they can get around the outside you see that would make a bit more sense there obviously it does cost some money but we do have the money either way that is the helicopter pad sorted i also want to check out staff and how many psychologists can i hire i can hire quite a number of psychologists so that is good okay let's go over to our planning and walls and let's just get rid of all of these because we're not going to have these are separate buildings in fact before we do that let's check rooms so we go through the rooms here and we can see the things that we can and can't have we haven't got a holding cell but i don't think we really need one 
we're not having workshop, we're not having a library, nor are we having forestry, certainly not forestry. Mail and shopping, probably not. The problem with the shop is that it's, because nobody has a job, they're not going to be able to get money for the shop anyway. The mail room is something that we could probably go for, but I think we've already got, it's more of a closed off system. I think a mail room is realistically a good thing in here and we might end up building it but hmm we'll have to see I'll have, I'll have a think about that one it'll probably be a staff only area anyway nobody will work there so we can place it anywhere we want and ah we have our helicopter coming in i'm gonna have to check actually what this is set up to be um what it's set up to be doing and that is ah visitors right so let's check that so let's go over to our logistics and to deliveries so we can see that everything is being putting onto there let's actually go to transport and i want to turn all of that off basically we don't want anything coming in or out this area that's not what this is for that is, allows us to call in the paramedics elite ops and firemen we don't want to use that to bring in food or people or anything like that that's not what this helicopter is about we're just placing it as i said because we need one let's see it uh, take off though because that'll be quite cool and just waiting for the oh they're actually walking across the water there I don't know if you saw that which is not great and they're also not using the steps. Ooh, they're breaking some uh, safety regulations there. Uh, I think it's going to take quite a while to to take off. And also, I just realised that the tail rotor is right across that fence, which means that either the fence is going down or this helicopter is not going to uh, get very far. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you can see all of the visitors are going on there, and then are we still waiting for some more? We are still waiting for some more, or we might be waiting for some exports. Let me just put up the speed up a little bit because we just want to see it take off. That's the main focus here. And is that the last one? Yep, the door slides closed, and you can see the rotors activate. It takes off, and it starts to it starts to head out. And right across that looks really weird doesn't it just flying right across there but no it is all fine that's exactly how it should work and then off it goes but obviously we've turned off the deliveries there now i could turn that back on for certain things but i like the idea of the boats coming in this is only for emergency stuff again that might change those we progress on anyway back over to our planning here and then to the walls and what i'm going to try and do is get some four by fours that is four and that is four that is perfect that's exactly what i wanted so this is going to be some four by four offices here for our our psychologist i'll get rid of this and these two officers here and the psychologist will now live over in this side and then from here what we'll do is we'll have a door there and a door there and we'll have these as the officers and then this area here we're going to build something that's probably going to be well it's probably going to be our protective custody area with an entrance we'll say up the top like so that'll be a security room you go through the security room to here having it right next to the psychologists i'm not too sure is a great idea but i don't think we really have much of a choice although maybe there's another way of doing it do we have a security room first and then the offices we could do something like that so maybe if we have a security room like so that's our security room and then you come out of this security room and we have the officers hang on how we're we going to do this maybe if we put the officers on the top that will give us a bit more breathing room so maybe something like that so there's our two officers this is a security room and then this where this is where it goes into our protective custody area like that so we'll place the cells on i mean ideally i would like to place them elsewhere like on the bottom because it's better for security but i guess this is just the place we're gonna have to have them three by three so we are making them slightly bigger and more graded than these ones these will be all of the cells along like so these will have a shower inside and then what we're going to do is have all the food and stuff down here so it won't be very large at all but two four six seven is probably about right okay that's fine then let's go over to our foundations and then more and then to our wall rusty which decreases the grid but no matter we'll place that in like so in order to obviously get this built we do need to place an entrance way so we'll go to our walls and doors and doors and we're going to place probably a standard jail door here because we want this to be only accessible by the people that really uh really need access to that and this is actually going to require an entrance there as well just to make it work but there we go and obviously we'll put all the other stuff in as well i'm actually going to go over to our intelligence and then informants and you can see we've got a couple of these legendary prisoners currently just sort of in and around the 
solitary area. I sit in and around. They're not there of their own free will because they want to be. They are just literally stuck there because um, they've done some naughty stuff, which includes things like um, attacking staff, escape attempt, serious injury, murder, etc. So we'll wait for the workers to crack on building there. You can see it's currently sleep time. People are filing out of this area. Some are actually going through this bit, but for the most part, this is working. Um, there was a couple of comments suggesting changes for each of the cell blocks, and it, a couple of them... One of them was to brick up this centre bit and have this as in a cell, but open up, say, the left and then the right uh, cell area. So, for example, if we made like these areas here away and this area here away out and have it as a one, one way in and one way out, so it is a one way system, that's actually a decent idea. That does, however, require a lot of changes to be made. It's certainly possible and something that we could action if we needed to. Um, the problem would be the throughput. And th th we're going to have 23 prisoners, I think, is it each? Um, two, four, actually it would be two, four, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one. But we'd get rid of one of these, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we'd have 20 in there. And going up through there, hmm, it probably wouldn't take that long, but it's not something I really want to restrict. Another one was to have that as that as an in, that as an in, and only check when you go in, but this is just a freely way to go out. Again, both were, you know, valid options, but we've just decided to, you know, use this checking system because, well, it seems to work. In terms of grants, we are obviously running the three grant, Prison Manufacturing Facility, Cell Block C, and the Reform Through Education Initiative. And two of those we won't get done, <laughs> certainly not with this island and this expansion. However, we will get a couple more cells over here, so we'll be very close to getting that Cell Block C, but, you know, so near and yet so far. We'll just have to see how things go. We do want to activate a couple of our... Confidential informants as well. It would be nice to see if there's any um, thing, there, any great thing working out there. But we'll see about that. Let's just dismantle that door because uh, it is in the wrong place. I'm just going to wait for this to be built. That little bit of foundation, and then that should that should action the rest of that. And yep, that's been built right across. And job done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel all that lighting because most of it is going to be an area where we won't actually get to use it. Actually, I'll just cancel that bit there. And, oh no, apparently it just cancels all of the lighting, because why would it not? Anyway, let's crack on with the walls here, and once again, rusty walls, so we'll go up and around with these walls, and I could build one and then clone it, and people have said that uh, cloning does seem to be costing more money, and that does feel to be true. I don't know if it is statistically true, where if we're cloning stuff and it costs us more money, but it does seem to be the case, but yeah, either way. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle that door and dismantle that door because I think I'm going to put some solitary doors on it to make it a lot more secure. I much prefer the more secure doors. Uh, let's place a jail door there. Actually, do we want a staff door? No, we'll just have a standard door there and a standard door there for the officers. There's no reason. If they've already come through the security checkpoint, these doors, I just don't want, you know, they're having to come through here. So that's been being removed. These will become the officers and these will become the cells. So let's go to deployment and protective custody. Although I can't because that door is not yet built. I'll just wait for them to crack on building that door. Then I'll mark this as protective custody. Because I know if I don't, all that's going to happen is... Is that still in progress? Yes, it is. All that's going to happen is when I build these cells, it'll immediately get people here. And I really, really don't want that. Anyway, looks like those doors are in. That's now open. That's now in. And then we can say protective custody for that one. And then just those are now set like so. That's fine. All right. Uh, we want to have also this as... Oh, that's wrong. Right, that is max sec. But also, these are all access only. So you only go in if you absolutely need to go in. So that's fine. Right, let's go to rooms and then to security. We'll place that as security. We'll also go to the office and we'll place the officers in like so. And we'll go ahead and probably just go to quick build cloning. I'm going to clone this office and we'll do that. And obviously we can rotate it round like so. And I think that is not an unreasonable office layout. So there we are. It's also going to clone the light, but it's not a big problem. I will also go ahead and place a chair in like so. Um, it's a bit tight, this office, a bit cramped, but it's not 
too much of a problem. I also may move the the hat stand, but I'll see how we get on there. Let's go over to our rooms, and I want to remove those officers. And obviously, this staff member will now have to leave and go over here. I'm very tempted to put in a staff door back here, so they don't have to go through the main body of the uh, prison. The problem is that is that's going to serve as a sort of um, one's calling. That'll serve as a a big security issue because I'd have to reinforce the fence. Anyway, the prisoners have settled down about their work hours now, I guess they so. Uh, so last few days, something of a vacation. Fine, right. Um, we can change that back. Not that we, I mean, does it really matter that we change this back to work free time? It matters not. But we'll put it back to, to normal there. Staff morale is on 100%, which is excellent, and staff are well paid. Um, that is correct, yes, but I do want to, sadly, uh, give them a... 20% pay cut. It was a temporary pay increase, so we'll have to put that back down to normal because obviously we're trying to save our money to build this other stuff. I'm just going to move this court stand to the back there. At least I can uh, double click it and move it around and we can see now this psychologist is in their office, which is good. Into utilities here and we're going to run a power cable up like so, a power cable up like so. That should do quite nicely and that'll put lights in all of there. Let's just move that back to there. Over to objects, to lighting. We're going to place a couple of lights in here and lights in the cells as well because obviously we haven't got that and then we'll just place them in the middle like so. And that's job done. Security room we'll also have to furnish, so we'll focus on that. We'll have a... I like the idea of like a, a chair there. Office desk in here. What else is it asking for? Filing cabinets? Yeah, we do need a couple of filing cabinets. We'll place them on the sides. I'll just place two on that corner there. And place a chair there for waiting before you go into there. And that should do it quite nicely, I think. That's all right. Okay. So that's sorted. We have the officers working, which means now we can, if we want to, hire, let's go over staff, another psychologist. Not a psychiatrist, another psychologist, which we will do. Obviously, that's going to in it's, that's gonna affect our cash flow, but that's fine. We're going to go over to our programs, uh, go down to our behavioral therapy. So inmates often struggle to control their violent nature. These one-on-one -on -one sessions with a prison psychologist aims to give them the tools necessary to de-escalate any situation they find themselves in before it turns violent. So we'll start running this. So we'll set up one, and apparently there's no equipment available. That's interesting. Required psychology, led by a psychologist in an office. Each prisoner requires oh, a wide sofa. Right, okay, I didn't realise. So what I'm going to do is move this stuff back and... That's Morgan getting tasered there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll move this stuff back. I thought the... the, ta uh, the, the taser? I thought the... Uh, <laughs> um, the sofa thing was a... Was it not not a mandatory thing? I thought it was just a recommended. But we'll place the sofas in there, and that should do. And once that's done, we'll be all right. Also, no final cabinets there. They're still focusing on the other stuff. I wonder what the workers are doing. There's a lot of work for them to to do, but there you are. Oh, it looks finally coming with that. So I'm going to reschedule, and there you go. And I'm going to run... I'm going to run four sessions, two each, basically. And there you go. Naturally, that's going to reduce our daily cash flow, but it's not too much of an issue. Right, so that's all sorted there. Let's go ahead and sort these cells out. So room cells, we're going to drag those along like so. We're actually going to go to quick build and then improved cell. And uh, sadly, it's not the right size. This is our improved cell, and you can see the, the rating of that. Okay, so what I'll do is, for a start, we need some heating. I know that's going to be a bit of an issue, and I'm also worried about the distance. We might be able to get some heating in here, but will it reach? I'm not convinced it will. I don't think it will. What I'll have to do is place a radiator as close to the doors as possible. Okay, let's crack on with that. Radiator, we'll put a radiator in that corner and then in that corner. We might get away with that. <laughs> we might get away with that, but we'll see. Hot water pipe will come straight down and then across. I 
think that it might just fit. It might just be in. It's going to be on the edge of what's acceptable and not. But the temperature in here, mm, we'll have to see about that one. Because this security room is only, it's one of two, you can see they are focusing their time on being in the yard, in the security or that security room. Also, we don't have many. How many do we have? We have 14 free guards, so that's actually not too bad. And, oh, looks like that's actually is, it is connected up, so that seems to be working. We'll check out our logistics and our temperature, and it's cold, but it's slowly heating up. So I'm going to continue building the cells, and we'll see what that's like. The cells will have to have cold showers, sadly. There's no real way of getting around that. Um, well, there is. It's to build a boiler here. That's possible. I'll just I'll just bulge the fence out a little bit because we have the space. And realistically, that's probably what I'll end up doing, but I'll get, I'll get to that uh, later on. So we're going to use standard beds. We're not going to have comfy ones. And that will go in the top left like so. We will, because this requires some... Uh, some grading. We'll put some bookshelves in it, like so. We'll put some toilets in there. Actually, no. Toilets will go there. And then the shower heads there. And finally, the drains underneath. I think it would actually look better up the top now that I think about it. Like that. Yeah, that looks better. Looks much better. Okay. And there we are. Just going to double check. Yep, deployment is set up correctly to protective custody. That's fine. And those, those guys are tired, which you would expect them to be. Okay. So not a great number of incidents so far. Still finding things through these checkpoints, which is good. We are... I don't know if we're making any money from... It does say cash flow there. If we're making any money from these snack machines, I don't think... Oh, bit of fighting there. I don't think our finance tells us. Mm, no, I don't think so. And where's this fighting occurring? This prisoner here. Volatile and quick. Warren Mitchell. We've seen them do that before. I'm just going to double check that. and I was going to say, is there any like ex-law enforcement? But, I mean, how can I really check with that? <laughs> uh, it's not happening. Anyway, we'll max this out. We'll get them to finish all of these cells off. Obviously, they need a, a door on there, so we'll, we'll place one of those. So, walls and doors, doors, and then jail door. And then we're going to build this right across like so. And this is actually, I've just realized, the only place that we can uh, fulfill this literacy need, which I think what I'll do, um, I think I'll put some in here. We can, it says book sh bookcase, it recommends in here, but I don't know if that actually works. So instead, we're going to put just a bookshelf. And we'll have like a, almost like a library section in here like that. Yeah, something like that, I think, is fine. Um and do that. There we are. There's other things that we might put in the common room as well. I haven't yet decided, but that's okay for now. Okay, so this is all in and connected up. In terms of temperature, it's currently minus two degrees winter, and if we check our temperature, you can see that actually it's it's actually fine in here. The other one at the end is 17 degrees, but I mean, that's not, you know, any great issue. So that's actually all right. The problem is, obviously, the showers are not warm. I don't really care, if I'm quite honest with you. Uh, <laughs> it's not something that I really have a big concern about. So we shall run a large water pipe to there. And then we're going to run a couple of small pipes along and then connect it up like so. And, oh, there we go. There's a lot of snow coming down. It's actually a nice colour temperature there. It's like almost golden, isn't it? Hmm. So it looks like this is still functioning. We do have loads of snacks and sandwiches and crisps and no no fruit on the veg on offer by the look of it. 
There's something going on there, isn't there? So they picked up some sandwiches, it immediately became two packets of crisps, and then once they finished eating it, it's now two full bowls of soup. I'm thinking there's some, uh, <laughs> some issues with the sprite indexes there or something. Anyway, uh, let's crack on with these uh, up here. So we need a common room, which we will place in like so. That'll go all the way along like that and then I'm going to also place a canteen now the canteen doesn't really need to be that big simply because it's gonna have um, I'll place the canteen like that uh, we just need an area for the tables and chairs and also for the serving table we only need one serving table we don't need any more than one I believe and as for the table well quite frankly we can get away with that uh, one of those tables and a bench either side. Another option is we place the benches along there. We have two tables in front of them. Or we have table small. Uh, with that function. Two, four, six people. Six there. Small benches. One, two, three. There you go. Two, four, six, eight people, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's fine. That canteen is right. So the common room then, we will have a, a pool table in here. Place a pool table in like so. We'll have a couple of phone booths actually, but we'll place them. I'll place them in here. Why not? Place them in the back here. We'll have a. I don't really want table tennis, but we do want an area for them to fill their. Where is it? Can't find it. Okay, we're gonna search. It'll be a a prayer mat. Spirituality needs can get fulfilled there. What else is it recommend? A chess table improves the grade and the chief's calling. One of the spiritual leaders we bring in for our religious programs has been riling up the inmates with all kinds of hateful speech. They've been fired, but the prisoners will take some time to cool down. Luckily our what have I just placed around here? A door there. Luckily, our warden is the one that pacifies, so it reduces the overall temperature in the prison. So hopefully, that's uh, that's all right. Anyway, the common room is cracking on. Um, this is pretty much built. Nope, that needs to be set as that. Uh, that's pretty much sorted. Common room, we need to place more items. What items do we have in here? We have a TV, uh, pool tables, and some bookshelves. So what I'm going to do then is probably place some... They have no access to the yard either. Although a lot of these guys, they want exercise, but I haven't given them any weight benches. And that's... Yeah. Impre increase, improves the gymnasium's grade. What else have you got? Mm, PA system increases the yard's grade. Place in a cell block or yard. I'm going to place one in here. There you go. And what else do we want? No windows. Don't need a sprinkler. Oh yeah, I haven't actually placed any sprinklers in here. Should probably do that while we remembered. Okay. Sprinkler. Where we'll place a sprinkler? Um. There, 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 and there. That will hopefully suffice. Obviously, you have to connect that with the water system, but we can do that once those are in. Anyway, back to the common room. Because we don't have a yard, it might be a yard inside here. Case for the exercise need. That's the dumbbell rack. What about the weights bench? Exercise. See, I think just a dumbbell rack. A couple of dumbbell racks in this area would be fine like that we're also going to place a TV standard one with nine chairs it's actually more capacity than uh, we need in here but it doesn't matter and that is that place pretty much sorted I think no prisoners are eating there yes I'm aware I'm aware but is there any prisoners that would benefit from going there so we're going to look around it's going to be a pass to try and find people that are in need of protective custody. So, legendary prisoners, no. They're not going in there. You could do that. There's two skills of thought. You take all of the all of the uh, deadly prisoners and the, the violent prisoners out of the system to make sure that the rest of this thing's fine. 
But anyone that's... But that, that, the problem with that is that, you know, we just don't have the capacity. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 11 plus legendary prisoners, even though they're not all legendary. I mean, they're t technically legendary, but strong and extremely deadly. I mean, that is quite legendary, but, you know, when I think legendary prisoners, I think that the massive list that you often get. Um, so, yeah, but actually, look, strong and extremely deadly, he's legendary prisoner, but extremely strong and extremely deadly, and a drug addict, apparently. So he's not a legendary prisoner, but he is. So it's an arbitrary name, isn't it, really? Because that guy is technically... Stronger than him, but he's not legendary. Who knows? Actually, what, let's what's what's the um. Let's see if I can f select this prisoner, Benjamin Corner. Served fourteen years of twenty-one. And this guy, fifty-one of eight years, murder and manslaughter. And this guy, armed robbery and robbery. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway, where were we? Uh, continuing on building there, that's fine. And I didn't see, as I said, a cursory glance of anyone that really needed to be moved over. But there you are. I would assume by now if there was uh, someone that needed to be put in protective custody that we would have seen them. There was a cop killer around here, which we could put in here. There they are there. Reinhardt. Maybe we could put them in protective custody. Do we want to do that? I don't think we need to. Oh, there you go, look. So we have now, finally, uh, the psychologists uh, working. That's cool. Anyway, let's go to our flooring. And what we want to do, uh, walls and doors, we want to... No, flooring, uh, naturally. We want to start placing some flooring in some of these areas. Now, I'm going to use iron floor for a lot of it because it does seem to fit the look of it. Wooden floor for areas around here. Uh, concrete tile there. Security will be probably set up. This is, gonna be, this is all wooden floor here. Um, in this area, what we're going to do is have probably iron floor for this area and the rest will be concrete. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. So that'll be... Oh, do I want iron floor in the cells? I'm tempted to maybe avoid iron floor. But it does fit the look of it. Maybe mosaic would give it a better feel. It might. It might. Either way, max speed out. Let's get the the flooring that we know we're going to be placing in. So we know we're going to be using this concrete flooring. Bit of tasers going off there. I don't know if you heard that, but we're alright for now. And doing it the way we've done that, we've actually placed it so it goes over the entrance bits as well. So there's a fair bit of money spent, but, you know, we're trying to make this look a bit better. I do like the lights there. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, so we've got that all working. That's fine. Ordering some stuff to be built. I don't know why they're not building it in the way you would expect. We're going to hire one, two, three, four workers. And, oh, they're smelling tunnels. And that sounds like a legitimate one as well. So we're going to search all of the areas. 91 places to search. When the guard went past there, let's see if it smell it again. They didn't smell it again. Okay, might not be legit. Might not be legit. Uh, we're going to do a shakedown all sectors as well. 376 places, so it's a lot more places to search these days, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, had some tears going off there again. Probably just a volatile prisoner. At least, as you can see, we've got... The Janet is delivering this stuff as well, which is good. And again, more tasers. I don't know why there's so much tasering going on. Well, obviously because there's some misbehaviour. But there you are. Um, we're going to two prisoners arrive in the next couple of seconds. And we'll just check what sort of prisoners these are. And there's the arrival. Unknown Reputation and... Matt Berry. Really? Oh, cool. Since he has for attempted murder. Hmm. But what Matt Berry is it? Is it Matt Berry, Matt Berry? Or is it Bat Matt Berry? <laughs> is it Father Matt Berry? Or is it... I mean, you got Toast to London. By the way, if you don't know who Matt Berry is, he's an actor. Um, Toast to London, IT Crowd, uh, What We Do in the Shadows, uh, Year of the Rabbit... Very funny guy. 
Anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. Where are we at? So, all that's getting pl built in there. We've done that place there. That's all being built there. Um, okay, I think we will... Oh, dearie me. So, it looks like Clark here, um, Christopher Clark, has failed their parole. And they decided to pick up a fountain pen and stab this guard. And now they are... Oh, now they have a taser. This is getting worse. Okay, guard response. Let's get all of the guards here that we can. And is that the doctor going to run in there? That is the doctor. Yes, they were they were going to go in there to um, try and try and uh, probably pick up that dead body. But they decided against it upon opening that door. The dog has been rendered unconscious, but luckily we managed to subdue them. Just before the worst had happened. I mean, the worst has happened, but yeah, could have got, could have gone even, uh, yeah, could have gone even further there. Either way, uh, that's suboptimal to say the least. In terms of guards, gonna hire three more guards. We will have to run a taser certification at some point, but we'll see how we get on. Either way, I think we're going to leave it there for now. Um, next episode, I'm going to plumb in these because I forgot to do so and continue placing some more flooring. But basically, this is pretty much finished in terms of building. So it really depends on what we want to do in terms of the expansion of it. But we'll cover that in the next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.